the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 357, Jude, Battle for Faith. Jude exhorted Christians to keep principle and to fight the righteous fight by participating in Jesus' victory. First point, Jude, the brother of Saint James, introduced himself as the servant of Jesus Christ. James and Jude, who were Jesus' brothers, became the leaders of the early church and representative members of the first generation of the Gospel era. They each left records in order to strengthen the Church of God. Jude prayed for mercy, peace, and love for the second generation of the Gospel era, who were experiencing a great deal of hardship. Second point. The book of Jude has much similarity with 2 Peter chapter 2. First, Jude taught the church to fight against the evil in order to keep faith. Second, Jude proclaimed God's judgment against the false teachers. Third, Jude stressed that Christians had already succeeded through the cross of Jesus and so could persevere. Third point, Jude warned that the false teachers would surely be judged by God. Jude wrote about God's judgment of false teachers by referencing the Old Testament. First, God had destroyed all the Exodus generation, excluding Moses, Joshua, and Caleb as they did not have faith. Second, God judged the angels who were arrogant. Third, God judged Sodom and Gomorrah, which was full of idolatry. Fourth point, Jude criticized idolatry by referring to Cain, Balaam, and Korah's forces. First, the evil spirit had caused Cain to murder his brother Abel. Second, the evil spirit wished for the church members to fall into evil. Third, the evil spirit built Korah's forces against Moses and Aaron. As such, Jude listed the history of evil and proclaimed judgment. He then advised the church to always remember the teachings of the apostles, who directed them toward Jesus Christ. Fifth point, Jude taught to have mercy on those who were being led by false teachers and to help them turn from their ways. Jude taught the church how they could protect themselves from evil. First, they were to root themselves strongly in faith. Second, they were to pray with the Holy Spirit. Third, they were to protect themselves in God's love. Fourth, they were to wait for the mercy of Jesus Christ. Jude moreover taught the church to have mercy on false teachers and to help them see the right path. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how 
to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.